I have another camera so that I can actually video what's going on below. <laughs> what is going on below today? Let me just make sure I can find everything in the bag. You really are doing something strange below. <laughs> been a while since you loaded the tank it has actually oh it's going on smoothly i don't want to jinx it but that's going on all right so this is fpp let it snow so fpp is the film photography project and they come out with various different film stocks all the time like special editions so this is let it snow i've shot before wolfman i've got that portrait of you in london when I finished work. That was on Wolfman. It's a 100 ISO film. I shot it last summer, bright sunshine, and there should be some nice car shots on it because I took it to a car show. I've even made up fresh chemicals so that we can't eat, We, you know, there is no, hopefully no margin for error in our testing. <laughs> okay, we, we do have an issue. Do you want to guess, do you want to guess how hot these are? I'm going to say 28. Oh, you are close, 27. Oh. Um, which just is three did, degrees. That was just judging by your red face. <laughs> it is very hot. And you're drinking a cup of tea, which is not helping. What are we going to do? Cool it down. You can do it at a cooler time. Have you got the window open? I have got a window open, yes. You could do it outside. I'm going to stand the chemicals by the window. <laughs> You have to do the whole thing by the window. <laughs> How's the temperature? Still too high. But I mean, they don't call me Slapdash Holly for nothing. I think I might just go for it. No, Holly, please do. <laughs> <laughs> no. Why don't you get some ice cubes? You've got some ice cubes. Or like an ice pack or something. I do have it. Shall I get an ice cube? Yeah. Don't put it in there. Yeah, I but... <laughs> Oh, my God. <laughs> Okay, right. <sighs> oh my gosh, <laughs> I guess it's the off. It was quite a big one. Where did you put the ice cube? Huh? Where did you put your ice cube? In it. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be all dil diluted. <laughs> this makes me happy. <laughs> <sighs> that is not what I meant at all. <laughs> so I literally searched for FPP, let it snow, developed in Ilford DDX, which if the film stock isn't coming up on Massive Dev Chart app, which is like the biggest database of developing times, but all the film stocks, all the different types of developer. If it doesn't come up on there, I just Google developing XYZ in DDX. Or there are some similar developers to this, uh, like the Kodak Tmax developer. You can generally use their timings for this. When I googled FPP, let it snow in DDX, there were 16 hits on Google. Do you not remember back in like the early 2000s when the internet first came out and there'd only be like maybe, you know, four hits per, per search or <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, it was like going back in time. Are we going to get any images at all based on my testing today? That is well, the question. I should imagine like timing doesn't have to be exact for everything, does it? Wow. So this is this is what I've done is I've gone through every 100 speed film on the massive Jev, Jev <laughs> <laughs> on the massive dev chart app. I've written down every single development time in DDX for uh, 100 speed films. So I'll tell you the films. We've got Agfa APX 100 which is 10.5 minutes, FOMA 100, which is 8 minutes, Fuji Neopan 9 minutes, Ilford FP4 at 10 minutes, Ilford Delta 100 at 10.5 minutes, Kenmir 100 at 10.5 mi minutes, Kodak T-Max at 7 minutes, and Role RPX at 11 minutes. There is like this margin, this okay, like 10 8 minutes, minutes to, well, 7 minutes to 11 minutes. And so I've averaged it, I've properly averaged Tell good me job, good job. <laughs> and I've come out at 9.5 minutes as an average. So I thought I'm going to develop this for 9.5 minutes in DDX. But what did those 16 hits say? <laughs> nothing, nothing of interest. Nothing of interest. Really. No, but at the very least, we're going to have to readjust our times 
9.5 minutes, uh, less 10% for each degree over 20 degrees. Okay, and then the final one. It's the final countdown. Okay. And then we'll see what we've got. Fingers crossed it will be something. Is, are you as nervous as your first ever develop? No, I think I'm just more curious. Okay. I think. Then. <laughs> go, go, go. Oh, I see frame lines. Ooh. Do it in front of the camera. <gasps> yes. <gasps> Images. Obviously, it looks sharper on my camera than it does on yours. Oh, absolutely. I think they look a bit faded on my computer screen. But on my camera, they do look very good. No. Oh, so beach see the car, the car detail. Wait, I was going to say, what's that circle? That's a car wheel. Because you know me, I don't just take a picture of a car. I take a picture of a car wheel. Same here, to be fair. <laughs> oh yes, Eve. Right. Have you had a look at the pictures? I haven't. No. What are you? Uh, what are you pr predicting? Uh, so from the negatives, it looks like quite high contrast. <laughs> So okay. I'm predicting high contrast images. You've suddenly gone high contrast as you said that. <laughs> Couldn't have planned that better. <laughs> yes, I think we've got some very high contrast. There, well, there's a mixture. There, there are some that to me look a bit muddy. And I wonder whether the, the sun had gone in on those points or something. Yeah, or maybe you didn't set the exposure correctly. <clears throat> <laughs> right, you bringing up the pictures? I've got the folder, so shall I click on the first one? Yeah. Oh, oh it's a picture of a mini moak. A what? A mini moak. Okay, then. I'd say it's a car, but like... <laughs> it's a weird car, isn't it? Yeah, yeah you could say someone's cobbled it together. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the next one. Oh, oh, it just looks so silky and shiny. The half bumper <laughs> thing. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> This is where I could do with my dad to be like, hey, it's a, what do you call it? Actually, it looks like a Morris Minor. The image is so crisp and clear and like there's no noise, uh, grain even. Yeah, not noise, Eve. And the next one's going to annoy you because I haven't framed it correctly. Yeah, no, that's, yeah. Next. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, a lotus. Too too much stuff going on in the background though. Too many people for my liking. Too much sky. Uh, yeah. I mean, you could have framed that maybe landscape instead of portrait. Could have filled the frame a bit better. Maybe. Then you'd have maybe a lot more people in the background, but like that sort of yeah. 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 <laughs> oh. I like this one. Oh. <laughs> oh boy, that's good. Mm. Yeah. See, this is more me. Like, rather than taking full pictures of the cars, I prefer going in on a detail. Mm, yeah. The, the, the cars in the film that you've used really sort of um, complements each other. Yeah. I think this is definitely a film that is to be used in classic cars. Yeah. Or Concours cars. <laughs> I, think so I, had, I think I had my wide-angle lens on because I wanted the distortion in the bumper. Yeah, it definitely it looks like a wide-angle lens. I think that's why some of it feels quite oddly framed, where I've got too much sky and stuff, is because I'm not used to using the wide-angle. It's not something I pick up regularly. This is kind of what I mean with the lotus photo. Like, you frame yeah. the lotus photo portrait, whereas this one is landscape, yeah, exactly. and it sort of suits the framing much better. Okay, so, you've got sorry, some lilies. Are you um, a Vogue, or are you at the headlight? Oh, no, I've gone past that. I'm now on to the li lilies. Oh. Which do strike me as being a bit flatter, like less contrasty. To some extent, but I really liked this one. But yeah. I, I do think the lilies were white, so I do think they worked very well. There's a there's a defect. 
There's well, a line going across about a quarter of the way down. I'll have a look at the negatives, but it could be my scanning. Oh, yeah, I like these with the um, seed heads. Yeah. That's a nice picture. Because, again, the, the contrast really comes out with this one. Yeah, and the, da- and the dahlias as well. Mm. Yeah, I really like the, I think it's an artichoke, or is it a thistle? Not sure. Oh, the one before, yeah. I mean, it kind of looks like an artichoke, but it probably is more of a thistle family, isn't it? Because it's, it's got the flower on top. Yeah. I it mean, makes me think thistle, but... Think about artichokes, I'm guessing they have flowers as well. Like potatoes have flowers. Yeah, could be. You meant to chop them off um, to make your potatoes grow bigger. Oh. Well, now I know. I do, I love the um, the way that like, the water has been rendered in the lily yeah, image. Yeah, it looks so silky smooth again. Yeah, those lily pads. They look like mirrors, don't they? They do look rather silvery, like tin foil or something like yeah. that. Yeah. Fabulous, fabulous. Yeah, nice, Im- nice images you got there. Nice images. And considering it was complete guesswork on the developing, I think we did quite well. Yeah, you did quite well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you were there for moral support. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, as I always am. So you're a fan of Let It Snow then? Yes, 100%. I think I'm very much a fan of Let It Snow too. Was it based off of like any other film? I I haven't been able to get any information. Oh right. Well it would be useful to know <laughs> yeah. if anyone knows. And if anyone has any suggestions for shooting the second roll of film, let us know. What is the second roll of film? Is it still Let It Snow? Yeah, I've got two I've got um, two, but I've only shot one. Ooh. It'd be interesting to see how well it does with other subjects. Yeah. Be diverse in your photo taking. <laughs> Thank you. Diversify. 